good. This guy, is, he, he caused me a lot of problems because I used to be all right when I used to get my hair cut from just random barbers here and there. And then, of course, I got the Johnny cut and then I got spoiled. And then I was like, mm, gee, we're going to have a problem because I need a weekly cut. How are we going to do this? It sounds so stupid and people never understand. They're like, well, what, why are you just fly a barber out to get that? I could do that for you. I'm like, mm, I don't think you quite understand what a fade is. Like, people think, it's funny, like, with, like my mum, for example, she would think it was b ridiculous to fly Johnny five hours to another state to get my hair cut. She's like, what the, why? She's like, just can't you just get some clippers and just do it yourself? I was like, you know, you don't just go all around your head with one, you know what I'm saying? When it looks, it looks so immaculately done that the fade is, is, is non, it's not really noticeable like that, you know what I'm saying? So that therefore, people don't really think it's such a drastic cut. That's how I like it. How many people in this world cut hair, but this guy is cutting superstars? That's where you got to really give someone props because they've done that much of a good job, you know, that they're like, mm, yeah, I can't really get it done from anyone else. I think that's, I have a lot of respect for that. I feel like it's, it's important being rich or giving out that image that you're rich. Because again, it's an image, that's what you're selling. There's a term in the industry, fake it till you make it. And that comes, you know, because everybody wants to be glamorous. A lot of money, the limos, the main bags, the helicopters, the private jets, you know, everybody's inspired to that. So I feel like, you know, these guys with the haircuts is a, is a real big deal to them. They want to be always known for being sharp. It's part of their world, it's part of their, you know, who they are. So much. Go man, I gotta get this cut. I gotta do MTV, so Let's do it. I'm late as it is. My bad, Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, when he comes to you, it's always good. But you know, the barbershop is always the the best time. That's when you can talk issue with everybody. You know, you know, if you're not out there every day, you know, I'm not in the high schools and, and elementary schools anymore, so I don't know what the kids like or what the teens are into. So the best way to see that is in the barbershop. You know what I mean? Because no matter what, that's where everybody meets up, whether you're seven or you're 14 or you're 21 or you're 50. You know, you always need a haircut. You know, even political stuff. You know, you'd be surprised. You go to barbershop and a little 12-year-old kid is talking about Occupy Wall Street. Rush and rush in the city, baby. But it gotta get done wherever it's at. Somebody gotta do it. And I don't mind doing it.